What does Nostradamus reveal to us for 2023? From economic crisis, a stock market crash, and aberrant social political slippages to the dramatic degradation of people's actions and feelings. From a geopolitical point of view, the need to purify and rebalance the earth will lead to hurricanes, floods, earthquakes, and possibly volcanic eruptions. Nostradamus considered that 2023, a new era will start to begin, both in terms of the calendar, but also realistically. The year 2023 marks a sacred moment, favorable, and at the same time dangerous in the history of mankind, meant to bring both disasters and revelations, according to Nostradamus. And please stay around to the end, because I will get to the conclusion and how this can affect and black swan events that may or may not occur. And Gray swan events, those that have a much higher probability. So please stay around to the end. Well, let's fill you in on some of the really nice things that Nostradamus says, has to say about 2023. The critical year of 2023 does not necessarily mean an end, but rather a fundamental transformation of the world we live in and a rebirth of humankind on a new spiritual level. Number five, what it means to all of us. We don't really care about the end of the world. We care about greed, money. Give me my money. All right. A huge financial crisis. According to Nostradamus predictions in 2023, we are on the verge of an imminent market crash. The short-term but powerful fall of the best-known American stock market index at the beginning of this year has caused global effects determining many people to think of a new crisis. While some analysis insists that we are not witnessing another bubble, it is about to burst like 20, 2008. Other experts think that the economic chaos is lurking right around the corner. All right, number him. Number four, Vladimir Putin will be assassinated and Biden will suffer from mysterious diseases. I will leave a link to this article in the description below so you can see some of the things I'm saying. But I did look at other websites and they were strikingly similar without as much detail as this one has. Number three, European countries may have to deal with depopulation. According to Nostradamus in 2023, European countries will have to deal with the probable depopulation, which is considered to be the final result of a chemical weapon and possibly other nuclear-related conflicts. All right, number two, the destruction of a large empire, the French Seer predicted that there may be destruction of one of the large empires, possibly Russia or China. Besides the high possibility of a global catastrophe will cause a huge number of victims and patients. In terms of war, the fight on the land and the water are likely to happen during the year 2023. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. His number one prediction is, number one, civil war in America. Is it really possible that U.S. could face the possibility of civil war in 2023, according to the writings of Nostradamus, because of poverty, political instability, and a bit may occur in 2023? Okay, it's possible. Okay, Now, we're going to get to some possible black swan events that possibly could happen. Okay, let's sum this all up. What about Nostradamus versus Bitcoin and the stock market? All right, so we're going to try to combine everything that he kind of said some of the things that I said, and try to put that into some sort of perspective and an ending to this video. All right, did you? I'm thinking, according to him, that the market will crash over 70%, according to the French profit. And the, that means the S&P would cl close close to $2,200. If the S&P closed close to $2,200, Bitcoin will definitely fall under $8,000 and it will take all the altcoins with it. All right, I said things will tame a little bit better than that. I don't think we'll get to 70%, but, uh, and Bitcoin may fall under 10,000. I don't know if it's going to seven, like some have predicted. All right, what's going to happen to trigger this? So what are some of the black swan events that I think may occur to for this crash to occur? Number one, I have the war in China, okay? Um, 
there's going to be, I have a feeling this is just on the, it's just waiting. I thought uh, Xi Jinping is just kind of waiting for Putin to finish and then he's going to start, but that's just my feeling. I did predict in that earlier video that Ukraine would not attack until after the Olympics and then they would attack. Sure enough, that happened. What about energy in Ukraine? All right. Um, it's not Ukraine has that much energy, but it's a it's a great port. And remember, with Russia holding back its oil supply for the world, I have a feeling NATO is going to cave in and try to negotiate some sort of peace at some point because this is just dragging on too much and people are going to be suffering this winter in uh, many of the different countries in Europe with the cold and, you know, the people are going to get frustrated with their own government. There's only so much like we can do for Ukraine until we start helping our own people, our, which gives me the next point, which is high inflation. If governments continue to do what they're doing, we're going to see more energy continue to go back up. And it's going to lead to political uprisings around the globe. And, you know, he, this was according to Nostradamus that Putin would have an assassination attempt. It doesn't mean it's going to go through. I don't know. I have no idea. It's Nostradamus. That there will be problems in people in Europe, possibly some, according to him, some sort of uh, either chemical weapon or um, and what happens if that uh, power plant, you know, gets opened up, you know, he bombs it. Okay, that's in Ukraine. Could that really affect most of Europe? Yeah, it could. Um, and there are some natural disasters that seem to always occur, but this one actually have to be pretty bad. And what number one thing that I see is it's just fear. We have too much uncertainty in many areas, and that's going to lead to panic selling. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fairly interesting, if not entertaining. All right, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful and blessed evening.